Today we're gonna to be working with Chloe, she's a puppy, on how to not steal food off of the counter or off of the table or how to steal anything else she's not supposed to have. Now she's still really young and she's still learning, but I'm gonna try and give you guys some tips on how to deal with this. If you're new to teaching dogs, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have anything from beginner videos to intermediate to advanced videos to tricks, so subscribe right now. What we're gonna be going over today is what I like to call a real life leave it. It's one thing for our dogs to leave something alone during a training exercise, but it's quite another to have them leave it alone when it really counts. How good is your dog about leaving things alone and not stealing food off the counter or off the kitchen table? Tell me in the comments below. A prerequisite to this is that you have taught your dog a basic leave it where you can drop a treat in front of them and they'll leave it alone at pretty close range. If you haven't taught that, I have an excellent video in the description of this video that will show you how to do that. Don't forget to like me on Facebook too for more tips on how to keep training really fun and effective. We have a thriving community of positive dog trainers and everyday dog lovers over there as well. Click thumbs up if you're as passionate as I am about raising the standards and how we teach and train our dogs. Now let's go inside and meet Elizabeth and Chloe and see if we can solve this problem. I'm here with Elizabeth right now. She is a proud mom of Chloe and actually several other dogs. Yes. You guys are very dedicated to animal rescue. Dogs. What issues are you having with Chloe as far as taking food when she's not supposed to? It doesn't matter what's on the counter. Whatever kind of food is up there, she'll take it. Tell me how Chloe is doing like on a basic leave it as a training exercise, which is a bit easier than an actual leave it alone if it's on the counter. You right. Know? So I've noticed that Chloe still does really well with the um, training by herself. She's getting better with real household objects, if that makes sense. So she'll bring in a sock and I'll tell her to leave it alone. Why don't we go ahead and get her warmed up with a basic leave it, okay. see how she's doing with that. Okay. What I'm looking for here is to see that Chloe is good about leaving it alone when we drop it in front of her before we up the ante, before we make it harder. Leave it. Good, and notice how she looked at you for guidance there. I love it when they do that. You've done a great job on this. Okay. Like, we want the emphasis of our training to be on the word yes, so that they really enjoy learning. You know, the best trainers in the world uh, are prepared to snap into training mode on a moment's notice, for example, when we see our dog <laughs> getting on the counter. Now it's time to make it a little bit more challenging. Remember that the biggest mistake that people make uh, with young dogs especially is a lack of supervision in that first year right. of life. We really want to teach them to respond to us from a distance, to make sure that they know how to leave something alone while we walk away, because that's a lot harder for them to do. When they're left to make the decision on their own, very often they will opt to go and eat the turkey. I mean, who could blame them, right? But I think we should go over teaching her how to do leave it from a distance on the floor and then we'll phase it up to the counter and eventually teach her that anything on the counter is off limits without okay. us having to even tell her leave it alone. Dogs are very smart. She knows that I'm right here to cover it up and if I walk away, she knows, hey, there's a loophole. Maybe I can get it. We don't want to pull our dogs away for this. That doesn't teach them. We really want them to think it through. This is very tempting and she's doing a wonderful job. Leave it alone. Very good. Leave it. Leave it alone, good. And I mean, this is more distance. She's still thinking about it, but I'm gonna let her know I like it. She's really breaking through right now. She's doing a great job. So I'm gonna make sure that I follow it up with a reward. My goal here is to simply be able to stand up. I mean, that's a variation of distance. Good. Chloe. Good, and here, major victory. Able to stand up here. Yeah. She's not touching it. I'm loving this. This is great. To let, and I'm not gonna push her. I'm gonna let her know I love that behavior by giving her food, thank you. And it's not just about the food. Always genuinely you know, communicate right. that enthusiasm. I don't need to tell you that. You're very good at that. <laughs> Leave it alone. Very good. And see, now she's really starting to get the point here. That's fantastic. Good, and see, now we have a bit of, ah, Chloe, right there, she's thinking about it. We have a bit of distance here. This is better. I mean, this is where we want to be before we go to the next level with it. It's really being dialed in with those eyes. Yes, you're very good. Our next step is to kind of do a similar concept over here, but we want to do it while on the counter. We want to set up scenarios where our dog is tempted so we can communicate to them, hey, look, anything over here on the counter, off limits. I'm going to let Chloe know very vividly that there's turkey right here, and we know that she's accustomed to doing it. Yes. I'm not gonna wait for her to get up there and then correct her. I'm gonna let her know that I like that she looked at it and looked at me here, right? So it's up here, look at me. Yes, nice work, very good girl. Leave it alone, 
good, I'm gonna reward that. I'm not gonna push her and push her and insist that she resist temptation when learning a new concept. Now you would reward less and less until eventually you don't reward at all because your dog is accustomed to just not getting on the counter. I'm gonna intermittently reward her. I'm not gonna reward her every time. And even though we're not rewarding her for it, we're still communicating to her, I like that you're doing that. That's very good, sweetheart. What do you feel about giving it a shot? Are you cool with that? Absolutely, let's so, do it. Here's a piece of turkey. I say put the whole thing on there. All right. Put it on the plate, show, show her that it's there. So she knows it's there. I'm gonna get some extra turkey over here. There. Reward her immediately for letting her know you like it. And notice, we're not saying leave it alone. We're simply trying to create a habit of, I know you know it's there, but you're not allowed to get it. And I like that you're not trying to get it. Emphasize that to your dog. She's really getting it. I think we can go even farther with okay. this. Are you up for it? Yes. I've got another plate full of turkey here. <laughs> we have this plate over here. And I wanna set up a training exercise. If your dog does this, this is how you handle it, right here. Simply cover it up. Again, don't pull them down. Teach them to think. Nope. She got a little bit. My bad there, but that's okay. If your dog does get away with it, that's on you for not controlling the environment sufficiently. No, ma'am. Leave it alone. Here we are again. I'm, I want to say yes, but I'm waiting for her to get down, and then I'm going to reward. Yes! Good Very girl. good. And. This is what I mean. It's 10 times more effective to show your dog what you do want rather than correcting them for what you don't want. That was an excellent example. Very good, Chloe. That was wonderful. Again, we're not trying to set her up. We're not trying to tease her, but we're trying to really show her how to resist temptation. Very good. So look, she's doing terrific. Look how well she's doing. I'm going to let her know I like that behavior a lot. Good. No, ma'am. Hey, look, up, look at me. I'm going to create a little distance because remember, distance. Dogs are quite savvy. Uh, uh, uh. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Good, and look right there. Excellent job, Elizabeth. You can see she saw it coming. Leave it alone. Look at the communication there. That's how you do it. You might be wondering, are we making a mistake by giving her food off the counter? As if to say, well, sometimes you can have food on the counter. Our dogs are very smart, and they're gonna understand that they only get food when you give it to them, okay. as long as you're very consistent. We have to supervise them to make sure we're in a position to teach them before we leave them unattended with food on the counter. Nice. Good girl, Good. Chloe. That was really, really nice. That was a terrific job. I think you guys are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Now, you've got a few weeks of work ahead of you <laughs> yeah, to be absolutely. consistent with her, uh, but if you're overwhelmingly consistent for a few weeks, this issue is resolved. Hey, if you guys found this video helpful, uh, make sure you click thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well so that you can see all of my future dog training videos. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash George, where you can get all sorts of dog training tips and we have a wonderful community of people over there. Chloe's an amazing dog, you guys just Thank did you. terrific. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Enjoyed it.